hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on I'm the, the sticky six. boy. And we're playing Madden 20 with the 10 it's 49ers. Yeah, the 49ers on the Madden 20. Jonas, I was thinking that we should start doing pranks. On we each should, other? No, just like social experiments. Like dude. you just run into like McDonald's and slam your drink on the counter and say, Got you, B! And see, and like I'll record it and put it up on the channel. Yeah, so be like Logan Paul or whoever that guy's name is. That his Whoa, name, Logan Paul. Oh yeah, wow. Or who is that other guy? No, uh, that's him. You got it. That's him. Yeah, I don't want to go into the Japanese forest though. No, we ain't doing that. No, nope. I don't want to look at to see a dead body. What Jones. kind of pranks you want to do, man? I don't know, Jones, but we just like, I mean, it's Austin, so there's a lot of people. Yeah, we could like go into the office of like the Crazy Town compound and just like poop on the floor. See what they do. Okay, I'll I'll get the camera. <laughs> you do the pooping, all right. I just want to have diarrhea though first. What the, whoa, Jonas! Really? Are we? This is where the video's going. We're gonna start here. <laughs> you where... started with pranks. No, but you see, this is the thing. You do this all the time. <laughs> I like, I'll and do something you. as a joke, and then you'll be like, you'll take it to the next level, and then you'll blame me for it. <laughs> That's my MO, dude. That's how I do things. And you're like, you know what? I like trees. I'm like, you want to have sex with a tree? You're gross. And you're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you you brought up trees. No, it's like the other day when I brought about spitting on nut sex. And you're like, well, you know, some people like that. I'm like, no, dude, that's the next level. I was just joking. It was a joke. It was, a, it was an analogy. And then you took it to the next level. Oh, by that, the way, this is a Super Bowl. Is it? Yeah, forgot. Oh, wait. What? They're doing the Rockettes, dude. We've never done that before. Is, is that the Rockettes? Yeah, that, 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 I, I don't know if that's the right word. Da, 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 da. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I did bring no, up. I'm going to let you keep going. Just keep it going. Just, just sing for the rest of the video. <laughs> oh, my life. Oof. Wait for some. <laughs> God, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's like I never, I didn't. It's like a swan. Sex with a pig. It's like I thought Michael Bublé was. <laughs> Bublé and end up in your bowl. I know he was. You gonna set a poop on fire on I the was, porch? Well, I was just watching one on Reddit. It was on Trashy, of course. Oh. But. <laughs> so I'm sure it was a really classy <laughs> prank. I mean, it was, it was Trashy. invasive, but it wasn't like bad. Okay. Where, Is it bad? Sometimes they show tr people on Trashy that are women, and I'm like, that's not really Trashy. It's kind of hot. There's a <laughs> trashy. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, I know. Video, off, I, off video. I know which one you're talking about. Trashy bees. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, you're but watching anyway. trashy. So what happened? <laughs> so there was a guy. Two escalators. One going down. One going up. Right. And as he's going up, he'll reach over and just like touch the hand and like. Oh, I've seen it. that. And like that dude gets pissed. I mean, rightfully so. <laughs> Didn't the guy hop over the thing? I don't know. I didn't make it that far into the video because we I, started recording. I think I saw that and he just like put his hand and like just let it like gr as he like went away. Yeah. Like, he just kind of like touches their hand and then like the person will look behind them and they're like, what the hell? He looks at them. <laughs> or there was like people who will be going on the escalator. As so the people were just like a little miffed. Yeah. They're like, oh, this guy. Yeah. They're like, you know. But you guys are the wrong person. I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> Can't tell another person how to react, Jonas. That's <laughs> right. for dang sure. That's like the number one, uh, number one goal. That'd be like if like somebody's at the gas pump and you just run up and scare them real quick. Yeah. Like, yeah, they might just be, or they might turn around and punch you because they think you're, or mace you because they think you're about to assault them. Fair. You know, and you instigated it, cause and effect. It, the thing is, Jonas, is I like to think of myself as a pretty peaceful person. Yeah, I agree. I'm obviously not going to go out here instigating, uh, even though I just I did just say we should start doing pranks. Yeah. I'm not going to go out here instigating a fight with Yeah, anybody. you are definitely not likes to fight guy. There but. Is, that guy exists. I will tell you right now that I wish, I wish a mother fudger would, Jonas. Try, to do what? Touch your hand? Jonas, see, I wish, I wish a, <laughs> I wish a mother fudger would is a sentiment in uh, African American culture, which I hate that term, black culture, Jonas, where we wish somebody would start something because we know what we will do. Bro, 
I, I've heard that before. Okay, so yeah, I wish it. a motherfucker would, which means give that, you a reason to just. Walk. Oh, Jonah, I'm so froggy. I'm not. Look, man, I'm not gonna start any any mess with anybody. <laughs> but the minute somebody does, Jonas, ooh, you just gave me a. It's myself. Oh, please, this freaks me. That's like that night at the bar. That guy put his arm around my neck and like squeezed a little tight. Oh. about ready to pop off on. Him. I'm mad that I didn't because I had <laughs> that all, was an opportunity. That I, I know. Got, I wish a mother would, and he did. I know. And but I it was my like chance. it was, but he playful and it was like if he would have been a little more aggressive. I would have been like Still. green light it go. Still. Like it was close enough though. Still. Jones, you don't you don't wish a mother fudger would you just you just want to No, dude. I like know, I know man. like here's the thing. I know that like if someone pushed me to that point, I would I would act a fool. But like you just I just don't want I just don't want that side of me to ever come out because yeah. I feel like it's like once it comes out, it's a lot easier to make it come out again. No, Jones, once it comes out, you just take it. It's just take it out, use it for what it's used for, it, and you tuck it back in, zip your pants like up. my penis. Jonas, you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. Yes, but no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got. You. I don't know. Me myself, Jonas. I'm, it's not even like to the point where I'm like I'm a psychopath in my head and it's just like one I, thing. And I just want to destroy something. Yeah, and it's like the minute that I beat somebody up. I was thinking about this the other day. Okay. I was thinking about like the a fight that I was in that I actually won. And I remember it was a neighborhood kid and he was uh, like just being disrespectful. I can't remember even like the premise of what he was doing. Right. But I remember that he took a glass of water and he threw it at me and then he jumped off the porch and he started running. And then just my instinct took over. You know, it was like, like the, you're like, oh, I'm going to catch you. That primal <laughs> instinct. I jumped. Landed on my feet, took chase, Jonas, caught him, tackled him from the hind, and started punching him in the back of the head. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was some rough stuff, man. <laughs> but he, that he never threw water on you again. He never did. I never even saw the kid again after that. But that primal urge, that release of energy, Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> well, it uh, it also probably taught him a lesson of watch who he's messing with. He can't be an a hole throwing water at people all the time. Oh, Jonas, man, I just want to. Oh, I just want to like rip the wings exactly. off a butterfly. Exactly, it makes you want someone to wish a, a person would again. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but then. What happens is the gauge of what someone does to make it come out is less. Oh, no. Before you know it, someone's like, excuse me. And you're like, what'd you say? <laughs> what? I'm seeing, no, I could never be that guy. <laughs> um, they like bump into you and they're like, sorry, man, sorry. You're sorry? What you sorry for? You messed up my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty no, Jonas. See you now. You've never known me to do that. No, no, I, I'm just. I'm, just I'm being not. Nice. I'm not really quick to anger. And most of the time, if a person disrespects me, I'm just like, oh, okay, I see what it is. You seem to get more upset when people when you, people disrespect people that you care about. Yes. Than if someone like comes at you. You're like yes. me, whatever. Oh, don't come at my friends. Don't come at my family. Yes, 100. percent That's 100. percent And the uh, they call that the TNT uh, protection plan. Oh, is that what it is? 100. percent Oh, awesome. Nobody else with the people in my life, man. This is what it is. Me myself, like a. Uh... All right, Jonathan. I'm gonna tell this. I'm gonna tell this. Oh, All right. No. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm not gonna tell. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell it. But somebody said something which was marginally disrespectful in my presence, knowing that I was present there. Okay. And to me, I was just like, it was the first time I'd ever met this person, and, and maybe they thought that they could just, you know, say whatever they wanted to say, and maybe they thought I didn't hear them. I don't know what the context of why they thought it was cool to say certain things around me, uh -huh. but they did. First time I ever met this person. So in my mind, I was just like, oh, okay. So apparently you just don't know how to be respectful. So there's no relationship that's ever going to come from this. You've already ruined your chances with me. So I'm just like, I write you off. Was this a girl you were trying to date? Um, I mean, I've definitely had that happen with girls I've tried to oh, date. Oh, okay. But no, it was not a girl I was trying to date. It was it was actually like kind of like a coworker there it happened, but I'm just like it's like if you say something that I deem as disrespectful or I deem as something that I don't necessarily want in my right in my meso system, then I'm just like all right, fine. You well, said that and now there's no relationship here. You well, can say hi to me about that. You about that about you too. It's like you will you can say a lot of ish around you and you will let it go. 
Yeah. There's a there's just certain things that you don't want to. It's like, but you like people can say some really out there ish, and you're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> but like certain things, you're like, nah, dude. I'm it's good. because it's because I realize that I can curtail the people who I keep around me. Yeah. And I feel like it is. I feel like it's beneficial to other people. And I honestly, I, I it might come across as like narcissistic narcissistic or whatever but i feel like everybody should feel this way that i enrich the people's lives who i who i let in right because i'm generous i'm kind right. and i i just feel like i am intelligent and if you, know, you feel you bring positive things to the people i feel that, like i bring positivity to relationships right exactly so if you do something against me with no with no like not as like a, a a response to something I've done. Like right, if I right. do something ishy to you, then you do something ishy to me. That, that's the, whatever. Yeah. Just, yeah, cause and effect. <laughs> yeah, but if just out of the blue or just with like, yeah, man, then you're done. And I'm like, yeah, it's your loss. I feel like you lose your dynamite privileges, and yeah. that's the worst punishment. And I preach that to a lot of girls and stuff because they have a hard time. Mm-hmm. Like uh, understanding that, and that's that might sound. <laughs> it's not just with, in the dating feet. aspect, just in like their relationships. Yeah, I don't know, man. Females always got to know why. Why did he cheat? <laughs> why? Why did he do that? What she looks like? Me myself? Hey, yo, you cheat on me? All right, that's cool. All right, bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't care wanna... who he was, why you did it, yeah. where you met him. I don't. Who does, it ain't I don't his need, fault. I don't need to know none of that. And you lost honestly, your dynamite privileges. Yeah. They're revoked. Yeah. Like, Sorry. I don't. Yeah. Like if someone was cheating on me, I don't. I'm not mad at the dude at all, even if he knew about me. That's because she still was the. One, she had to let him do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, now if she uh, assaulted her, that's a completely different problem. You know what I mean? Yo, if your girl is cheating on <laughs> cheating on you with somebody that's beating her ass, dude, that's a no. Problem. I meant sexually assaulting, but I guess it would be <laughs> cheating at that point. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's right. Are you gonna hold? Oh my god, yo! I'm not even getting into that. No, I I I missed it. <laughs> but <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> no, that's not even. I can't even joke about it. Well, no, but like, I what, what I, I guess what I meant was if like she was cheating on you with someone, and Ex- then and explain then, to me where cheating and no, sexual no, no. assault. Well, I guess what I was, what I meant was like, say she was cheating on you with someone, and then they, then they forced themselves on her at a later date, and like, and then it was it was an, a non consensual thing, and she was like, this dude did this. We had been, <laughs> we had been uh, whatever before. Um, Yo, fam. That, that is a very, very specific situation. <laughs> I know, right? Uh-huh. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. But no, dude, I don't care what they, who, like, what, the, what if no, they yeah, man, whatever. For, for sure, I'm good, man. But like I've been I said, doing that myself, too. Like, it took me a while to get to that point, but it's like, now that I've gotten older and, like, just had some time to, like, think about what I want my life to be like, I've started to, like, assess, like, is this person bringing positivity to my life? And if they bring negativity to my life, they slowly get phased yeah, out. Yeah, honestly, Jonas, man, I feel like our lives are hard enough. And I, I mean that for, like, you personally, your life is hard enough. My life is hard enough. Right. Everybody listening, your life is hard enough that you don't need to bring people into your life that are just going to make it hard for you. <laughs> right, dude. All right? We all going through something, man. Yeah. And we don't need people that's going to make that inch harder for us, man. All right. Yeah, but a lot of people do that. They don't want to give up. And like, I finally have real, got to the realization where I'm like, okay, if I'm putting in energy and you're not matching the energy I'm giving you, then my energy is either going to go down to your level or I'm just going to phase you out. One of the two. I'm not going to keep trying to get a hold of you all the time. I'm not going to keep trying to keep in contact with you if you're not making the same effort back. If you're bringing me down when I'm bringing you up, you're draining my energy. So bye. Amen. If that's if that's what you need, yeah. Because it's just it just ends up people are always like blah, 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 blah. everyone has so many issues, dude. You know you cannot have issues if you keep people who <laughs> respect you in your life. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Uh, it, it's hard for me to even like understand because I figure like on a spectrum, Jonas, that we're we we trend towards the more more positive, more self actualization Ah, self-actualization side of things because there is definitely what you would call the lowest common denominator of people who are 
having issues that we couldn't even dream of on a daily oh, basis. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, we're talking about, like, single moms, single single dads, uh, people with real mental illnesses and stuff of that nature. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, my problems are nowhere near those sorts of problems. Exactly. And it, it's hard for them to internalize, like, a lot of these mantras that we have explored for years. Right. So. But I think it's about, um, I think whether we are cognizant of it or not, um, I think we're like the type of people we are. We we work. T- we've always worked towards meeting our needs, which goes back to like that Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The more of your needs that are met, the more like you can adopt these sort of mantras. But if you're not working towards meeting your needs, you are always going to be miserable because if you don't have your basic needs met, you are struggling to even function at a base level. Yeah. To even move forward. But yeah, a lot of people <clears throat> they can't they can't even achieve that base level because of some of the issues going on in their lives, right. man. Exactly. Some of it's out of your control, some of it's in your control and you don't doing anything about it. I mean, yeah. it just depends, you know. That's, Everybody that's... Has, has bad situations, you know. So with that being said, Jonas, I still to this day wish a mother a your would give me a reason. Just give me a reason. Dude, you don't know how often I walk outside of these doors and I just wish I could see a woman being like Beat grab by a man. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Josie! You see, you're doing it again. Now you're gonna blame me, right? Is it my fault? I was so good at blame. I just was doing it because you literally talked about this example earlier. But anyway. No, I did not! <laughs> no, you talked no, no. <laughs> no, you talked about me escalating and blaming oh, you. Oh, okay. I'm, not, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. But like, I just be walking around the whole house talking about domestic <laughs> violence jokes. No, no, no. <laughs> I, was just, I was just escalating because that's what no. you talked about. Anyways. I was going to say, like, I just wish that I would leave the house and I'd see, like, a, a man, like, grabbing his girl's wrist or something. Like, just get in the car, Sheila. <laughs> 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 so I could just be like, hey, buddy, was there a problem? It's not your problem, buddy. Shut the fudge up. And then I walk up and I'm like, deck. Wow. And then I'm like, yeah, baby, you come in with me now. <laughs> and she's like, are, are you my boyfriend now? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> are we going to have a baby? <laughs> and then, you're, then you just like push her back towards the dude. <laughs> like, oh, uh, second thought, you go back with him. Yeah, yeah, and it's cool. I don't want you anyway. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, Jonas, we won a Super Bowl. Yeah, dude, we won it. We beat the hooker. Wait, who? The guy's last name is Hooker. We beat him. All right. Uh, yeah, so, man, it, that, was a, that, was a good, that was a good season, Jones. What are we going to do in the next season? Uh, I don't know, but we're going to actually, spoiler alert, we're going to jump in and finish my Brown season eight that I stopped doing on my own. We're going to move over to those. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, Jonas. We're going to be doing the brownies. Yeah, boy. So if you want your browns fixed, guys, you got to come over to the dark side. I mean, we're already here. <laughs> we're already doing it. They're already here watching. <laughs> they've been, as as I can tell, we, they've really been missed because everyone has been like, where are the browns videos at? Nope. Not one person has said that. So. They're all really? They're what people watch the most, but no one. Wa- I mean, I think like. The first season gets a lot of watch, but no one really sticks around for like season eight. You yeah, know what I mean? I yeah, mean, a handful of people watch it, but you know, yeah, it's cool. We'll just move over to that because it's the end of the season anyway. All We're gonna right, be that's fine, buddy. Yeah. Whatever you like. That's the spoiler man. alert. More Madden to come, man. We're never gonna stop. This Madden train must go. Chug-a, I think chug-a, we will chug-a, always chug-a, have at least choo-choo. one Madden video going. No, Jonas, we're gonna move up to seven. <laughs> Are we yeah. seven a day? As soon as we get these recording times down, Jonas, seven Madden videos a day. Okay. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm not. I would kill myself. I know, right? Oh, my God. I'm almost tired of playing Madden as it is, but it's fun. I like talking over it. But that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, call your freaking Uncle Joey and tell him to come hang out. <laughs> Whoa. For Jonas. <laughs> TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are, are out.